anyway. <laughs> We were waiting for my man all to go downstairs. We're, we're sitting here making faces kids. into the camera. Your kids, you know. Anyway, hello, welcome. Uh, hello, it is. Um, we just finished recording the end of year review of 2023. Yeah. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. And we are now going to talk you through what we have planned for 2024. Whether that's personal or YouTube or Twitch or whatever. What is it? Three hours now? Uh, three hours, yeah. Until three hours new year, guys. Okay, so. It is just about nine o'clock it is 8 56 yeah. so oh well just over three hours not too much over two hours but anyway right let's wing it and let's see what we can do for a new year basically. okay so we kind of slightly put this into format in our last video which would have been the what's called new year's end but, end uh, year review. so the idea still continues and it's the upgrade all our bits for our vlogging our gaming channel um any other bits that can make it seem a lot better for you guys so to watch. so last year so 2023 last year yeah. but anyway we upgraded the monitor graham got a new monitor we got this tripod that i treat graham to that has a ring light which makes recording videos a little bit easier now yeah. because it has a nice little light on it so it does um we Turn it off can I? Yeah. Um, we have new games consoles. We are discussing about getting an Elgato this year. Which so will help us record off PlayStation. Yeah, so we have a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 3, we have a Switch, and we have an Xbox. We can stream off Twitch, or off the Xbox via Twitch, but we can't just record. Yeah. Um, off the Xbox, there's certain games we can play on the PC via Xbox, Account, but we can record off this, but we can't. Uh, well, we don't have to go live, but we can yeah. record. Uh, this. But it's only certain games. Yeah. And um, but I've moved my my Xbox from behind me to over here. Um. So I have. Uh, there you go. I've moved my Xbox, so it means that if we get the Elgato, we can switch the Xboxes and put games here, and we can stream all our games. And record all our games and vice versa if I want to record a game that's on my Xbox I can just switch it over because it's simply just the same wires just moving them and I can use them um, so we are looking to upgrade our gaming setup next year for um, video games for streaming and recording for YouTube but for the likes of main channel uh, we've already started upgrading that as in uh, as you can tell, it's getting mess. It's been very messy, but it it's a learning curve. We've started editing on the PC as opposed to on our phone, which means it's a little bit more complicated. But Graham is slowly learning, and once he's able to learn how to do it, he's going to teach me. Um, because it's not as simple as you know, like drag and drop. So it's not. But he, you right there. Just seems to wire white wire is handy. Alright, uh, but. He is slowly learning how to edit on PC, um, and obviously we've had some mess ups with it. You know, you as you have commented below, yeah. and there was an issue that I, my card was in the video. So yeah, okay. Well, I take the blame for that when I forgot I was pointing the camera down. I thought I was pointing it up, but anyway, um, <laughs> that was my bad. And on my behalf, there was two of the same video that went up, different names, but same video. Yeah. So we're making mistakes by doing it via editing PC, but we're getting there. Yeah. We are getting there, and um, it's just going to take a while to learn. But we are uh, doing that, um, and we will uh, probably eventually upgrade to using an actual camera. But at the moment, I don't have the confidence for that, so I'm going to leave it as my phone. But I am getting a new phone in the new year at some point, so the camera quality will be a lot better. Also, do apologize for the camera quality on this; it's not as good as our phones. I know, but our phones are not letting us record. So, we're recording on PC at the moment. But anyway, we, um, yeah, we're going to start upgrading all our stuff so that we can make bigger, better videos. And here he comes. Hey, yeah, Milo. They're all downstairs. I think he's gone now. Uh, my dog thought it was bedtime, which technically it is bedtime for him, but because it's New Year's, they're all downstairs watching a movie, so. And he was still upstairs. But um, anyway, getting better equipment and all like that, yeah. and uh, upgrading whatever we can to make the videos a lot better for the normal channel and the game channel. 
and possibly part of Sarah's um, Instagram channel, Sarah's Life Goals. Any equipment that we use, she can use as well yeah. for that. So it'll also that. be obviously used for like the YouTube yeah, the as well, as well. And my blog and all like that. Yeah. Um, so it will. Okay, so that's like the technical aspect of it. So now the personal aspect. Um. I am going to start writing lists of all the videos to be recorded like I do now. This is January and New, New Year's. This is just New Year's in general. Um, so I'm going to start making sure that whenever we come up with a video idea that needs to be done, I write it on my phone and that way we don't forget it. Because we were forgetting all the videos and when something was supposed to go up and yada yada, I'm going to make sure I write it in my phone so I don't forget. Um, we're going to probably do a lot of bulk recording. So a lot of the time, like right now, you might see us in the same outfits, i.e. me and my Udi, um, <laughs> because we're bulk recording. So right now we're recording three videos all in one go because, you know, it's, it's easier for us. We have the energy, we have the motivation, we have the willpower, Let's we have the info. do it. We're going to get them done like and uploaded. Do you like a drink, sir? No, I'm burping because I took a drink at 7-Up. I do apologise. So, like, we are going to start bulk recording videos for YouTube. Yeah. So, we are. Now, some might be filler videos. Like, we're going to go back to doing, uh, like, TV show movie reviews. They're got what I'm classing as filler videos. So, they're not, like, main, main videos. They're kind of ones that you can just throw in every now and then. Yeah. Um, if you need a video kind of thing. Um, but I have, I think, about six or seven videos to record during the week, which I'm looking forward to. A lot of solo stuff, a lot of stuff based on just me. Actually, they're all based on just me. So they are. One can kind of be included with Graham, but the rest are all me, which is really scary. Um, <laughs> but I'll record them when Graham's back to work on Wednesday. I'm not back till the 8th. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start putting a lot more effort into my Life Goals Instagram page, my blog, because I was really enjoying that. I'm going to start putting more effort into these videos for you guys and actually getting them recorded when I say I'm going to do them. So, yeah. And actually do the videos properly because I've gotten very, very kind of lazy in a sense. Like, I was really happy with the Sheen video I did recently because I did it in two parts. I did the try on and then the shut the haul. So, I was very happy with that because it meant I didn't have to do them all the one day. It meant I could show you everything in the haul. And then I could, on a different day, try out to not. So I could. And it felt it felt really good doing it that way. And I also wasn't on a time constraint as to what I was able to say and how long I had to speak. So it was. Um, but in the new year, for me, I am solely working on me. Sounds very selfish and vain. But just wait. Um, my therapist... Uh, I will talk to you through in the living life um, video that I'm recording during the week basically said I put everyone else above myself and I know it may not seem like it but I do and um, I kind of I put my anxiety to one side I I don't know I just I push everything to one side and I make sure that everyone else is happy so I do whether it makes me anxious or not but I've started sticking up for myself and started being like oh, well I don't know uh, that might make make me feel a bit anxious. That might be a bit out of my comfort zone. You know, where I'm just not comfortable with that. I've started kind of saying stuff like that now. But not even that. When I'm at home, I don't... Again, people in vlogs might be like, Oh, you always take time for yourself. No, I don't. Because lying in bed is not taking time for yourself. So it's not. That is letting yourself go. That'll be uh, another thing as well to add to via this year as well. Sarah's going to be doing a lot of work via around this section and not the bed. Yeah, so one of the videos I am going to be... Two videos I'm going to be recording. One is to do my, my blog. So I am going to be over here on the laptop bulk record bulk recording. Bulk typing and scheduling all my posts. So that has to be done from here. The other one I'm video I'm going to be doing, and I might make a series out of it. We'll see how it goes. Is a crafty video. Because I've got, I don't know how many different crafts to do there via buying them myself or my mum or Graham or whoever buying stuff for me. I've got loads of craft stuff to do. And I have the perfect space to do it. So 
I'm going to do a crafty video, see how it goes. If I feel like it's something I want to do more of, I'll do more crafty videos. But again, they have to be done via here. Uh, we also have that uh, new equipment thing as well. That, that you can do via yeah. downwards. So, so I, I am going to be doing a lot more videos based off here. I also, now that Christmas is over, in the sense of I have my desk back, my half the desk back, because we had the Christmas tree on my half the desk, I can now go back to doing my hair, makeup and skincare from the desk. So I can. Because that section does not have the tree on it anymore. Yeah. Now it is a little bit messy at the moment, but it's forgive just, that. Just Christmas is just over there. So. Forgive that. We still have to organise the room after Christmas. It's still a bit wonky. Yeah. Like a wonky donkey. But anyway. Um, so is that it for, then for the next year for you? I'm basically working on my mental health, making sure my physical health gets in check. And obviously, yes, I'm going to be losing the weight. That goes along with the physical health. Um, I'm going to be getting back into doing crafts, going to get back into doing, into reading my books, um, trying to be a lot less stressed. I'm going to start kind of getting into the habit of saving, but also making sure that I make as many amazing memories as I can. Um, I do that Pringle thing. thing. That my mom does. Mm. We have money in our little piggy bank over there, by the way. We do, we have money in the... I forgot about that piggy bank. Um... But yeah, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try push myself to be the best version of myself next year, and um, but I'm actually getting help with it this time, which is what I needed all along. I just never did. And yes, I know my cousin will say, "Well, I told you to do this from the beginning, and you never did." Blah 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 blah. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I do care. I love you. Um, but I'm finally starting pushing myself to actually do stuff. But I want to try push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit more, but not too much. As in, like I don't want to cause an anxiety attack or be like oh yeah no I can definitely travel here or I can definitely go to this place Um, I'll definitely be able to do it by then but I can't guarantee I will so I can't make promises no either no one should push anyone with mental health to make decisions because it just makes it a lot worse you go with their speed Yeah. and if, they you, will... if you don't like it fuck you <laughs> in the small sense and I do apologise for the, for the language but it is true basically you know, just yeah. be supportive be su family friends push the person but don't push them overboard yeah co-workers basically. all like that just let them know and just listen that's all yeah. that's, that's, that's a, it that's the cream so the uh, advice kick corner there so you know support we're your, kicking off to... support your loved ones yeah that's the best way to describe that so on my what behalf on are my your be plans for 2024 on my behalf it's short and sweet I love it. The, um, yeah, this Merry of... Christmas and thank you. <laughs> no, but anyway, it's mostly up there with oh. he health and safety or health, base in general. So. Yeah, that one um, it's not health and safety, it's just it. But uh, I have a lot less than Sarah. I probably do feel depressed, I probably do have other things, but the arse I'm actually just trying to get more stuff added on to me. Like, you know, I, I inject, I eat. At one stage, thought I had psoriasis. The doctors don't even know what that is anymore. Um, because it was uh, it was bug bites. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was bug bed bites. Bugs. Bed we bugs. got the infestation. They're gone now, so it's yeah, all good. They're all dead. But uh, really? yeah, I thought, it aggravated so, my eczema though. I thought basically I had psoriasis. I had mentioned it to the doctors, and then, then they went off by basic my word. So. Um, just making sure I'm not bit again. Adding cream and. Like the New Year's, brush my teeth a lot more. I've got, I have the, the equipment. I got that from Sarah, and then I bought myself a new fancy little toothbrush. We have matching toothbrushes. So, oh. but um, yeah, like Sarah equipment and all like that, and basically just trying to get with it with the uh, YouTube making videos. Also, like Sarah, giving myself time to relax because. We're trying to keep on top of the room as well, and from anyone that's seen videos being made in this room, it's very small for two people. It's great in the sense that we can sleep together, we, with the bed is there for both of us, we have our computers and screens over there, so we have our own little yeah. space, cool. and Sarah has a little space over there for her a little bit, so... The moving around the room aspect. Yeah. So basically what he's trying to say is, if I have something over, say, here, that needs to go into the wardrobe here, but he's cleaning here, you have to kind of 
Jimmy it, and touch butts and all that, you know. It, you have to keep, like, interrupting what the person's doing. Yeah. In order to get to a different... And there's been times when... But we're, the plan is... My anxiety then gets to me, yeah, basically. Plan, and I'm just like... But the plan for that, just to add on that, is literally to keep on top of the room that we're yeah. sleeping on. Because at the end of the day, this is our little only mini apartment, you know. I'm hardly moving, but anyway. I want to give me watches. goals that I'm doing. Apparently I set for a good while. No, I didn't really say that, but anyway. Uh, and we have our fridge gone. and TVs and all like that. So my milk rotter. And a milk rotter. I know I'm not on so, camera. Yeah. I need to lean. My back is gone. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, But yeah, just small things like that. Um, I need to try getting myself into the situation where something doesn't have to be done that day or something like that so take a day off or something for myself because I'm coming home I'm like the days I'm going to work because Sarah's in later I'm coming home and trying to make dinners and try to keep on top of dinners and um, because by the time Sarah gets home it's cold and it's too late to be cooking and all that stuff yeah but I don't get home until much after six I might as well put my thing in or my time into use when I'm at home and like I don't know what's the story but, uh, in my work life in the sense on like doing jobs and uh, trying to do what I do and like with the hours that I have so if I do come home early I'll try my best, oh no I'll do my best basically of making dinners and all of that but late night ones if I end up have to work in late we'll, we'll come to that time and try to organise stuff for me. Yeah so if Graham ends up having, this is the habit we need to get out of. Normally when Graham works late, uh, we end up ordering takeout because easy, easy it's the easiest option because I don't get home until about quarter past six, um, depending on what was getting done in work that day and what day of the week it is. If it's Monday to Thursday, it's quarter past six. Yeah. Um, if it's on a Friday, it's about quarter to six. Yeah. Um, but what was happening was Graham would be sitting there at home and I felt bad because he would be sitting there starving because he'd get home about four, half four. And he'd be sitting there kind of going, I'm so hungry. When I come half five, he's like, I want my dinner. So just came to the agreement, you get it on, you get the dinner put on, that way it's ready for when I get home and you can eat it. Instead of waiting for me to get home and it being like another hour. Yeah. Um, so we, that's why we came to that agreement. But what was happening was Graham was coming home and he was cleaning the room and doing the dinner and setting up something to watch. And this is what I'm saying to you guys and, like, and Sarah's saying is that we need a routine for the New Year's. So yeah, well, my routine should be, checked, so. once I get into a better routine, my routine would be making the bed in the morning. And that's usually what Graham does when he comes home is he makes the bed. So what would happen then is he won't have to do that. So that's one thing he doesn't have to do. And he doesn't have to load a button on yeah, the TV stories, for stories. us to watch with dinner. He just has to do dinner. So yeah. he can sit down and do what he wants until half five. No, long story short, it's the... The enjoyment of life and the enjoyment of being with someone that you love is basically evening out the playing field where, yeah. you, where you can. Uh, feelings and shit like that um, can don't be partial, but I think counsellors and all like that might be a lot stronger than just being... Because you can be there for your friend and you can be there for your partner and all like that, but you, it's, this is what we were saying about the speed of trying to be trying to get better. Like no one, like if you myself. push yourself too much, you're gonna yeah. go, end up back down, in the yeah. bottom, and that's what happened down to me. Down memory lane, like you know. That's what happened to me. I, twenty twenty two, I tried to push myself to get over the trauma of my what happened with my dad, and what happened in having the mental breakdown in the other job that I had. That I tried to push myself to become better, and I just ended up downhill again. Mm -hmm. And I haven't actually. So that's why I opted to go into living life. And uh, again, talk to you through that about in another video, but. You need to go slow and steady. Yeah. Like I'm not going to be finished with them until the summer of next year. Yeah. That's how slow and steady you have to go. So but on, on a big note and a happier note. Um, we have discussed on a holiday out of Ireland. We are discussing travelling next year. Yeah. Um, we're discussing possibly going to Galway with Susan. Yeah. Um, around Christmas time which we'll see if we can get done. Yeah. But we're also discussing, come next September, going to London with my uncle Shane, who's going to get all like the prices and all for us and get the bookings and all done because he's the the guy to go to for that. Um, 
So he said he'll bring us because he knows London really, really well and he'd know exactly where to go, won't get lost and knows of places that most normal people, like, my experience. first time Londoner, yeah. London traveller people, whatever. My experience, I went over to London once. No, you went Manchester, you didn't even go to London. Yeah, well, I went You went Manchester. Manchester. <laughs> I went Manchester, but there wasn't you went much. to where Ali lives. <laughs> I didn't do much, but also I came back on with bronchitis. So I didn't get to enjoy being over there, even if I, I didn't class enjoy in that either. area as being England. I went over to England to visit family and I didn't enjoy it at all because I didn't get on with my cousin back then. And so we were we've had bad experience with <laughs> We were sleeping on traveling. sleeping rough. And then once we get England over, possible Spain or Madrid or something. So. Uh, I think once we get London over where I have, I'm in talks of traveling to a sunny country with Claire and Sean. Yeah. Because they would go to the, the good places yeah. like... You know, they would be able to bring you to somewhere good. Yeah. Um, so we're also tra- with traveling the, with Susie Roo as well. Yeah, well, we haven't disco- fully discussed that. Yeah. That's why I'm saying that. Yeah, we, we haven't fully discussed. We've talked about best friends or besties, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, uh, friends holiday. So yeah, we do a friends holiday every that's year. In, that's in the mix of yeah. uh, being sorted. So that's we do a friends holiday. We're hoping maybe go and go away for Christmas, but then, I don't know, maybe we'll go somewhere else. But it's hard to know because Susan's in college, so it's kind of trying to figure out when We're trying to, to get good times for all of us to go, yeah, basically. because during the summer it's just so expensive. <laughs> so we have, that, we have that anyway, trying to organise. But I and definitely do want to try England. and get a holiday in near the beginning of the year again. We have England as well, so... England um, is September. Galway, more than likely, uh, December for their Galway markets. Yeah. We're going to try to go for... Whether it's only for one or two nights, Something. one or two nights is... Something. It's fine. Yeah. We'll still go, even if it's only for one or two nights. Probably two nights, just to give us that extra night away. Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah, we and just the small things. We have birthdays as usual. We have Easter. nothing big next year, Easter. thank God. It's like your birthday, Graham. I'm not counting that. That's like next week. Yeah. I'm not counting that. It's my birthday next week, guys. Well, not the week after. Yeah, well... The we're Monday. Trying, <laughs> we're trying to celebrate it uh, to make sure that everyone is because Sarah's oh. mom's birthday is on the weekend. Yes, so we have my mom's birthday is on the Saturday. Graham is on the Monday, so we can't celebrate Graham's birthday the weekend before, so it has to be the weekend after. Oh, which is okay. You know, but anyway, we don't have any... But, uh, besides Graham's in January, we don't have any big yeah, birthdays full, or full, anything like that next full year. Full circle, birth, Sarah's birthday... Um, 2025, on the other hand. Yeah. Uh, 2025. Oh, that's a big birthday, isn't it? That's my man, Dara, 60, and Claire and Sean are 30. 2025, guys. Crazy. Already. Can't get married that year, I'm afraid. We're, Graham, we're, we're, too, we're broke. I'll get married at the end. Uh, 2026. <laughs> just because of money. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just birthdays and generic days and all like that. And work and... But we're going to try stuff. and plan bigger, better birthdays in the sense... Doing different things, basically, for a birthday. Asking the person what the, for options of what they want to do. Yeah, like for an example, Susan's birthday is August. We're going to ask her what does she want to do. Yeah, give us some options and we'll pick from them. So like we did that with Graham. Give us some options, we'll pick from it. And he said he want, he only wanted to go shopping and get a bite to eat in a pub and maybe a drink. But then we won up it and are going Dundrum. Dundrum for a bit. But, uh, for for mini golf. Mini golf. Go and Dundrum for um, mini golf. Have like a, a little tiny look around there, and then into town. You can get a bit in, more shopping. You can get food. into Dundrum for about what, half an hour. So yes. that's Dundrum itself. Um. Then into town. Have a look around. Do a bit more shopping. Go up a bite to eat. Back into Bray. Probably go somewhere for a drink. Probably just nip into the Wild Goose or something like that for an L drink, and then that's your birthday yeah. celebration with me and Susan. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with you on the Sunday. I haven't decided. I will decide because I don't have very long. But um, <laughs> is that it, sir? What else is that? It for twenty twenty three. Uh, putting more work into format. YouTube, about gaming, our main channel, upgrading everything for them. Um, staying on track with them. Bulk recording a lot more. I've been bulk recording for the game channel. I am in February already. You know. Second week. Uh, sorry, burped again. Getting our. Mental and physical health in check, losing the weight, getting back into ourselves. Gaining the muscle. Yeah, you mostly just need to gain muscle. Although you need to lose the little belly. Just the little belly. Just the little belly. Yeah, we're just basically concentrating on everything, but also making as many memories as we can. 
next year. I've always kind of went off a little quote of mine and that is capturing the moment. And I will continue on that. So I do because I do like capturing the moment. Whether it be know? picture format or video format. Yeah. I think one video style I want to get into doing next year is a lot more slideshows. And what I mean by that is I want to, if we're not recording one of the days, like we're not vlogging, I want to take loads of photos, Sorry. turn it into a slideshow and either upload it on Instagram or on YouTube for ease, depending on how we feel. Yeah. I want to do more videos like that so that we can really capture every moment. I want to get into taking more and more photos. So I do. I, on the other hand, do need to clear my phone, which I'm going to get Graham to do for me because I get really frustrated clearing my phone. So I do. But yeah, I think that's the plans for 2024. Um, we are going to go and record what our plans for January is now. So just kind of like, yeah, organising our January. But hopefully 2024 is a good year for you. For you too. You. For you. you. But, um, <laughs> so comedic, aren't we? Uh, but, it's uh, 20 past nine. It's bed past my bedtime, lads. Yeah. I have to stay up till midnight. <laughs> What's going on with my hair? Like, what no clue. But guys, thank you for joining us with this video. I hope you guys have a good year. And um, we look forward to seeing your comments and your likes and all in the you on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our gaming channel as well. Um, we play games over there and we chat to you as well. So yeah, picking my nose with your <laughs> nose. His hair's getting finicky. But anyway, guys, happy new year to you. And we we'll see you. We'll see you in the new year. Bye. Bye.